Hi everyone, welcome to Do It Easy. In this video, we will see what is Composer, why we should use in our project, and how to install it, and also to check if you already have cons uh, Composer installed in your system or not. So, in this video, we will be more clear about the Composer. So, let's get started. At first, the first question is what is Composer? Composer is a dependency manager of PHP. So this is not only a single unit, but it is a combination of various libraries and packages which is needed by our project. We will be more clear by when we uh, discuss the second point. That is why it is used in our project. It is not mandatory that without Composer, you will not be able to work on your project or it is it will not be installed composer it is a combination of various packages and services so if you don't want to use composer then you need to individually uh, install the services and packages and then you will be able to work on that project or it may happen that composer is a combination of 10 packages but you uh, have installed only eight at that time it runs but when you are uh, in mid of your code then you just get know that this package is missed and the second example I can say that in a, in a single project number of uh, developers are working and if you are not using the composer then the first user has installed 8 packages or 9 packages and the second developer has installed only the 5 so both of the developers of a single project are not in the same so this problem is resolved by the composer so by using a single command that is composer install you will get rid of this problem now the next is how to install it so for this we will go to the browser and i will type for composer install this is the official website and here you can see few list of commands using which we will install our composer in our system and here are the few options for composer and here you can see a list of versions which is for composer.far file now we will copy this command if you want to know what are these command for you can go here first is for downloading the installer and second is is verifying the installer SHA and third is running the installer and fourth after se uh, composer setup then it is unlinking this installer so i have copied these commands and i will paste it here installer is verified that is our second command has run successfully and yes the installation has finished the version is 1.10 and 0.10 and it has given that use it php composer.far php minus r it is asking for unlinking i will type yes and then php composer.far enter and you can see the composer version and the list of commands now we will check our composer has installed globally or not for this we will move to the next directory i am moving to desktop enter and here i will type again this command and here you can see it has given error that couldn't open input file that is composer.far so for this what we need to do we need to install the uh, composer globally for this the solution is also on the official website so we will go to the getting started and here it is the solution for installing the composer globally we will use command mv composer.far and copy it to this path this is moving that moving that composer.far file to this path so i will copy this command and paste it i 
I will open the terminal again and here you can see it is the composer.par file. So now I will copy this command and paste it here and now if I type ls then you will see that the composer.par file is missing so because it has moved to that directory. So we will move to this directory cd usr local slash win enter and I will type ls and yes here you can see it is composer. Now you don't need to the uh, type whole command that is php composer dot par if you will type composer and then enter you will get composer version information about it and all the commands below so in this way we can install the composer in our system and i have also tell you if the composer is not installed globally then how to do that so if this video is helpful for you then don't forget to like this video and also please subscribe my channel.